Hi, um, everybody. My name is Tim Singh. Uh, I will be taking you HTML. This is the front end, front end side uh, of uh, whether you're trying to uh, delve into full stack engineering, front end engineering, or uh, whatsoever. Um, this is the very first stage. Uh, that being said, before I proceed further, I would want to. I, I want to believe everybody is coming from an uh, a non tech environment you're coming into a new environment even if you have the power knowledge of tech but i want to assume that everybody is a novice everybody knows nothing about tech proud to now um, so in that case i would love to um, try to uh, uh, bring everybody to the awareness of how the internet really works um, so that everybody can be carried along so by the time we dive deep into uh, what's um, dive into the HTML properly, you would have, um, of course, understood the concept of how the internet really works. Now, if I ask the question, how does the internet really work? When you hear about the word internet, what comes to your mind? What do you think about? What do you understand by the concept of internet? Well, you might say um, an internet is when you try to log on or when, when, you, when you try to access a web server through uh, uh, internet service provider fine you're right if that should be your response anyways but um, that might be very correct but that might not be very accurate in terms of uh, how the internet really works um, let me say this okay <clears throat> let's let's for example let's use this uh, Google um, as a case study as a scenario um, you would agree with me that google.com is a popular website and a search engine uh, but it can also let's say serve as uh, a useful example to understand how the internet really works now before i dive deeper i will try to make you understand that we're going to be establishing six concepts here which is that is in order for us to have uh, a, a wrapped understanding of what the, how the internet really works so we're going to be uh, talking about the dns we're going to be talking about um uh, requesting the web page we're gonna be talking about establishing a connection we're gonna be talking about um, uh, say processing the request serving the web page um, what again serving the web page say we're gonna be talking about say receiving and rendering um, the web page so um, in, in with this six um, affirmation I would uh, believe that or I would believe you would have had or you would understand um, the concept of how the internet really works um, pardon me if I'm too fast please let me know in the comment section if I'm too fast so that I can know how to um, uh, accommodate your piece or synchronize your piece with mine thank you very much um, DNS if I say DNS okay what we understand okay now DNS when you enter a google.com in your web browser say uh, i don't know how to, to zoom this right now say this web browser uh that is when you are that is the address bar and you press enter your computer needs to find the ip address of the google um, web server this google web server then it starts by contacting a dns server which is uh, responsible for a dns server is responsible for translating the dom domain names into what ip address because they communicate with the, with, with protocols now the dns server looks up the ip address uh, uh, that is associated with the google.com and returns it to your computer this is it goes to the dns servers uh, and looks for the ip address that is associated with your uh, uh, with google.com and returns it what to your computer now let's think about think take a look at the, uh, the second phase which is requesting the web page now listen up because you have the ip address of the google web server now your computer sends a request um, to the web server using the http uh, you know when you're making a request or trying to retrieve a request from over the server of, i mean from the server over the internet you're either making a get request or a post request when you're trying to uh when you're trying to let me let me give you a typically uh, a typical example of what it is now when you're trying to log in Maybe enter your information, um, say you want to log in into Facebook.com, for example. When you log in through, when you when you uh, impute your data, say your email, or your username and your password, you're making a post request 
you understand what i'm saying so but if you are trying to um search for a web service say for example you want to access www.google.com www.youtube.com you're making what a, a get request so you that, that the, the, the request the 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 uh the annotation for those requests is called http so http stands for hypertext transfer protocol or you may say https uh, which is the, the the secure version of the protocol the secure version of http that means hypertext transfer protocol secure uh -huh. so this request includes the specific web page you want to access such as www.google.com which we are trying to uh, use as a template here now let's go to the third phase which happens to be the establishing a connection now to establish a connection the request from your computer travels through um, various routers and the network infrastructure until it reaches the uh, Google web server now the server then receives the request and it establishes a connection with your computer using the TCP uh, TCP slash IP uh, uh, sorry that I'm trying to okay I'm using uh, something you may not be familiar with now when you say TCP TCP stands for uh, transmission control protocol uh, why the IP means the internet protocol now if I'm using some terms or some lingo that you are not uh, accustomed to I will besiege you I will, I will employ you to always put it down write it down like I said uh, before now that it is important that you have a notebook you know apart from the fact that you have your device to code with uh, I would want you to have a notebook and a pen you know when you write it sticks better when you write you understand better you know it synchronizes with your uh, with your mind so it is pertinent that you have a notebook so whenever I made mention of a, a kind of lingo a kind of um, tech lingo or tech uh, terms that you're not yet familiar with which I believe you would be familiar with in the nearest future please put it down research for it or find the meaning of it on the internet the internet is so resourceful these days go to google.com search for each search for it know the meaning of whatsoever terms I make I may not uh, I may not I mean let me say I may unconsciously not um, give a vivid or or a kind of um, definition of what it is but it is it is expected of you to write it down you know research for it and you know so that you can even understand better than I would, I would, I would have explained so the number four thing we're considering here is processing the request once the uh, connection is established which is very important the Google web server receives the request and processes it in this case the server understands that you are requesting the Google home page you understand so it will process it now the, the fifth concept is serving the web page you have requested for now the server generates the HTML the CSS and the JavaScript and other resources that make up um, the Google home page it may also fetch additional data from database or other services uh, if needed and then um, once all the necessary components are ready the server sends them back to your computer as a response receiving and rendering the web page which is the sixth one that we're going to be talking about um, before we go further uh, the sixth one is uh, talking about your computer receiving the response containing the HTML CSS JavaScript and other resources now the web browser on your computer interprets this code and render the um, web page by by displaying it on your on your screen on your computer your device whatsoever thing you are using to access the um, web page now the browser also handles any interactive element on the page maybe it has to do with maybe click to log in click to register click to install whatsoever interactive elements that's on your page or that comes pre bundled you know like for example now we're using um, google.com as example it's search engine very popular search engine now after you might have typed whatsoever words you want to find out or you want to uh, uh, you want to find information on the next thing is to engage the interactive element on the page which is click search you understand what I'm saying so before the Google now uh, initiates the uh, uh, the request then we can go on and on and on even if we have so many uh, 
so many stops we need to consider but for the, for the, for the for for um, for the sake of time uh we 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 would stop at this number 6 which is the, which i believe are the most important one that you should know now um in summary of what i've said the the process involves uh, don't forget i said the process involves data packets containing the request response and other information that travels across various routers and networks infrastructure which uh, together forms uh, the the internet uh, 